Greetings, sir and sirites, and welcome once more to Plague Inc. Evolved with me, Lafrix. So, we're nearing the end of this glorious trip. We're almost finished with every scenario, at least some difficulty, and then we'll be revisiting them on Brutal, etc, etc. But today, because I didn't record it and I just did it as a test, we are doing artificial organs. Rapid advances in medical science allow for the production of advanced artificial organs. As production ramps up, it is hoped that the ability to replace organs will significantly improve life expectancy. Is humanity on the brink of Im immortality? No, because I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, ignore the fact I've got three in Mega Brutal. That's purely because I did it in the, as a test. I did it with a Nurax worm. That's kind of cheating because the Nurax worm completely ignores lethality because it goes for transcendence. Can you see the issue there? So I'm not going to do it in that. That's boring. So this game mode then. Basically, any attempts to kill people through standard means, such as total organ failure, will be met with a large amount of resistance. I'm thinking, this is my view and my thought process, there's two ways around that. Number one, become a resilient little bastard and outdo them, so outlive them. Keep going and going and going until they die. Or B, just become really, really hyper-aggressive, really high lethality very very quickly as fast as possible and just try to nuke them before actually before their bonuses actually help them um, ignore the fact that all my genes have been reset that's just because of reinstalling the game uh, metabolic uh, let's see genetic mimic them yeah because that way again the whole outlasting thing um, aquasite because going by the sea is freaking awesome extremophile because that's awesome and finally my favorite for the bacteria, path uh, symptostasis, which is kind of being cancelled out by the genetic mimic, so it's not too bad. Okay, continue. Let's do it in normal for now. Let's just see how. Now, it's doing brutal. Yeah, it's doing brutal. Screw it. Um, we are. Hmm. Heartbreaker, because you know artificial organs, and it's a picture of a heart. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> Where to begin? Saudi Arabia or India? Oh, India, because I haven't been there for a while. Lovely. So I'll just wait and we'll go down the usual um, rash, sweating, skin lesion y route. Computer game industry growing in the UK. Thank God we don't do enough games in this country. Sweating, okay, next we need skin lesions, of course, as we always do. So. Okay, so it doesn't actually show you that it, that it's reduced lethality on the bar. I was thinking, was, was it going to be a reduced lethality being shown, or just it just affects less people when you actually have it, and apparently it's the latter of the two, which is a bit annoying. I'd like it to actually show you how much you're actually going to be able to do, because that way you can kind of work around it. But apparently that's not the case, so there we go. You live with what you dealt, etc. You make do what you dealt. When life gives you lemons, make horrible... Foul diseases. What was that one saying I heard? Oh yeah, when life gives you, gives you lemons, make or, make um, or, make orange juice and make them wonder how you did it. Awesome variation. Wow, I have no charisma today. I am just tired. It was up all last night sorting out my computer. Um, after a long thought process, I decided to completely reformat my computer because it was so bunged full of stuff, and I'm fairly certain it must have been affected by a million things. Just, 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 just how long I had it, and um, how badly I was with um, safety early on. Yeah. So I was up all night making sure I could actually do something today with my computer because I need to do work as well, which is great. That's of course after plague. Plague comes to our work. Everyone knows that. Yeah, that's killing very few people considering. Yay, Egypt! Ah, let's go sneezing. Uh, I think I'll get water next then. Um, need resistances as well. Maybe water? Maybe. I could always get abscesses. Abscess is actually pretty good. Yeah, okay. I want as much lethality as possible so I can get as much, much DNA as possible. Because if it really is more difficult to kill them, I'm going to need some serious um, DNA. Just so I can explode with utter lethality as soon as I get there. So, uh, call level 1 because I'm in England, call level 2 because I'm in England, and I'll be in Russia soon enough. 
And yes, I, I did guess I was in England by the plane, and then I looked at like, oh wait, I can go anywhere here. Okay, good. Drugs level 2 is grabbed. Uh, next we'll get some water. Water is always a good thing. Artificial organs to save lives. God damn it. Oh, yeah, it has actually lowered alifalthus, so it's like an event. Oh, okay, I'll say it works then. God damn it. So, really, really fast spread and nuking early on is better? Well, I can't think of a fast way to spread and how I'm doing it, so. <laughs> Gentle vomiting, I love that bonus. As horrible and sick as it is, literally. It also is the best bonus by far. Okay, getting 4 DNA each. Ooh, 5 on that one. Good. So now I'm getting the max amount of DNA I can really get. I think I get a little bit more than that, but... Everywhere is inf infected. Infected? Pneumonia. That's good for freebie. And let's go ahead though, and get extreme bioaerosol so we can get on boats ASAP. More infectious than the common cold, is that to say? Good. Heartbreak of place on watch list. Good. They know we exist. Quite bad, rather. Why is that good? What does it say good for? Rats, rats, blood, blood, blood. Well, insect into blood. Okay, I can't really spend any more DNA, but this should spread very, very quickly. Places are shut short, down their forts now, though, which is a bit annoying. They keep mutating more things, which isn't good. Finland's infected, so that's great, though, because it means we might, we might be able to get into Greenland before it shuts down. Oh, necrosis. I don't want to undo that, but we need to get a boat to Greenland now. Before it shuts its ports, that will make it shuts its ports. Come on, send a fucking boat, you. No, we can't have that. We, we, we already have necrosis, we can't have even more lethality. We're saying that lethality is still very low because of the artificial organs. Yes, there we go. Okay, let's kill the bastards. Organ failure, um, hemorrhagic shock, because that didn't affect. Hmm. Artificial organs, does that mean that, that, that total organ failure would kind of be particularly affected? Doesn't seem to be, but we'll see, we'll see. Coma, uh, paralysis? It, 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 okay, we actually are a bit struggling for our cure, right? So, insanity, reshuffle, hardening, okay, there we go. Also, I'll go ahead and grab at least one bacterial resistance, because that will help us out in green a little bit more. We, yep, yeah, we are indeed killing very fast, that's kind of the whole point. Whole nuke thing, whole nuke idea. Seems like it might work. Yeah, that is actually very slow considering how much we've got, but still very fast in the grand scheme of things. Uh, hardening level 2. Mongolia breaks down. Greenland's... Yeah, Greenland's fucked. Good. Uh, been screwed. Screwed. Been screwed. I don't swear on this channel. I remember at one point I was so paranoid at swearing on this channel, I actually used to edit out any swears. But I don't really care anymore. Let's try and get some more points. How much do I need for... Um... There we go. No healthy health people left in the world. So whatever's left is whatever's left. Good. Uh, sure, let's get anemia. And hypersensitivity. Oh, it didn't quite give me 1%. Oh, that's a bit sad. People with artificial organs are violently rejecting them, leading to horrific deaths. It appears that heartbreak had triggered the insane. Oh! Oh, that... Wow, that is horrifically awesome. So, if you have the insanity symptom, there's a chance people will rip out their own hearts. Wow. Heartbreaker. Well, that's just insane in every way possible. That's very cool. And very, very horrific. So, actually, there's a tip then. Russian sanity. I wonder how effective that actually be. I'm thinking that the problem is those like weird things that never pop up when you want them to. I mean, look how long it took for it to actually affect it. So I'm thinking, get insanity and hope it gets there sooner. Wow, it's, well, well, it certainly bypasses the whole artificial organ defense. Oh, two out of three. God damn it. That's how that's how much cured it was. Well, there we have it. That's amazingly creepy. Thank you for watching, Sir and Sirettes, and we'll be back soon enough with another one. I'm thinking I'll have to... Oh, yeah, the um, Nipah virus. Nipah virus. Um, that was fun as hell to do. It was quite difficult, actually. But it's fun, so I'll do that on recording soon enough. Thank you for watching, Sir and Sirettes. I hope you had a great day, a great week, and a great month. And if you would like to like the video, if you have liked it, 
Follow me on Facebook for upcoming events, and even subscribe if you haven't already. They all mean the world to me. Also comment. I'm good at the endings.